Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are here on the fifth assignment and if you're watching this on YouTube and clicking through the annotations, you have clicked on the peaceful campaign, Miletus, a largely peaceful province. So let's go ahead and get this started. Our recent expansion in the east must continue now that the Greeks have reluctantly joined our empire. You are to establish Miletus as a great new city. Miletus is key to bringing Asia under Roman rule, as well as being the gateway to many other beckoning lands, from Egyptus to Syria. Create a city on the Lycian coast. I expect you to achieve levels of culture and prosperity beyond what you've done so far. The peoples of the East must clearly see the benefits of Roman rule. One small obstacle is the lack of farmland in this province. However, Miletus affords Roman citizens a new way to make a living. At Miletus, you will pioneer fishing. Romans have always been hesitant mariners. Although we do set sail to conquer overseas enemies and spread our empire to far shores, we Romans prefer to keep our feet dry. No Roman city has ever fished for its food on a large scale. You will change that. Miletus has abundant fishing grounds. You can spot them by the seabirds circling overhead. Build a shipyard to construct fishing boats. Fishing boats do not work out of the shipyard. To provide crews and to process their cargoes, build wharves. One wharf can serve only one fishing boat. So you must build a new wharf for every new fishing vessel that your shipyard builds. Wharf workers will take fish to the granary, where it can be distributed just like any other food. Oh, by the way, although this is a peaceful province, peaceful is a relative term when you get this far away from Rome. You should be ready for minor trouble. Pay attention to any reports of enemy activity and be ready to defend your city. Walls and towers, backed up by a legion or two, ought to be quite sufficient. All right, welcome to Miletus Fish or Cut Bait. All right, so the ratings here are proper ratings. Look at that, 40, 60, 40, 35. Shouldn't be too difficult, but population of 5,000, it's the biggest we've had so far. So let's get things started. Here we are on Miletus. First desert map, let's slow the game down and this, this, is the first desert map, which means I should show off the basic desert block. So if you don't know, we're not repeating block designs on every single mission here. The last one was a bit of a killer because of that. But the basic desert block is like the 9x9, but it's a 7x7. So today we're going to be using 7x7s. And I've had a quick look at this map. There's a bit of farmland there, a bit of farmland down here, which we could use later on for fruits and olives but we are going to focus on fish because this is the first fishing map, so I should focus on fish. So let's clear off these. We'll make a nice little block here. And also, let me just double check. What are our exports? We are all the way here on the east. There's Miletus, north of us is Ephesus and Pergamum. Down over here, our trading partners, Athene buys fish and oil, okay and Corinthus buys weapons. So it seems like they're all one shield for now. So it's not massive, massive trade right now, but oil and weapons are basically our exports. Weapons, we can produce iron mine, yes. And we had olives, yes. So we can produce weapons. There's some nice mining area over here, which we could have a dock down here, sell things out that way. Or I could... No, I don't want to build a bridge across here. It'll be way too expensive. Uh, for olives... Well, oil exports, that's a little trickier. Unless I set the, the dock on this side and I use these hills here for mining, that might be a better option because I could use this farmland for some olives as well. So if I clear off this side and I clear off this and make some room for a dock, can a dock fit right there? Yes, a dock can fit right there. So what we can do is I'll just clear off all of this and this can be sort of an industrial area. And I will need some kind of road like this just to get things started. 
uh, one, two. The dock will be here. We'll have just, we'll just set up a basic loop for now. Just something very basic to get things started. And this is one, two, three. I guess we will just have a couple of houses there. And I'm placing these houses first because people move in in the order you place houses. Now, let's get some 7x7s seven seven going, yeah? We're gonna need... Probably don't want it to be too close to the coast, but we need it close to the coast so that we can provide... employment to the fishing area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there we go, that's our first 7x7. Seven seven. And to make it somewhat nice, I could continue the diamond pattern by having another block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure if this is too close to the edge, but if we get enough money, we could just have more, I don't know. Maybe I should shift this over a bit, a few tiles, three tiles. One, two, three. So it'll be like there instead. I think it looks a bit more natural that way as well. So just so it's not too close to the edge. Okay, now. People are going to move in from there. So, thanks to these trees, we can actually set up a decent enough well maze. Just by blocking off a few of these. We got to do this for the immigration glitch. If you don't know what that is, you got to watch the previous missions. And we can just break that open just to buy us a bit of time here so they can walk this way and then we can do that and they're walking around like that that means they have to walk around here before they come over here but this is a l relatively large map so should be fine and then we have to have a row of houses here because that is going to give access to the fishing area which we will have like this and it will sort of loop round like that. Maybe I will I will break the road a little bit. One, two, yeah. So it's not clogging up the sides here. So we can put service buildings for the residences. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense, right? Ah, uh, don't forget about the small farming location at the northern end of the map. Yeah, we could use that, but uh, I'll use this first because the dock is going to go right there. Alright, so this is going to be our fishing area. And we're going to need to fill that up next. We're going to need a granary here, but we'll wait for the houses to move in. So I guess we just fill this up now, right? We just need as many people as possible. So always pay attention to where you're putting things down. And we're going to need to garden up the middle here. And if you don't know, 7x7 is a standard block on desert maps because the reach of water fountains is not as far. Now, we do need a reservoir, which we can place here, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should be good there. We can have this reservoir come down here and have this aqueduct. Just do that. Okay, good. So that should have enough reach. I hope, uh, I hope they do actually make it. All right. So while we're at it, we can go with a desert block you want to be careful of fires too few people working yep that reservoir does cover things so for each of these blocks i'm gonna have two prefectures just to make sure nothing ever burns down yeah i'll do this this actually i should put it like that that would be more efficient and I can have two prefectures on that side, so I'll get rid of that. And then we'll have similar thing here. And then engineer's post, we can just have one. And over here, we're gonna need 
Same thing, engineer's post, prefecture. Okay, that's perfect. Ah, so these guys are gonna move down first, these guys are gonna move in next. So next thing we do, we're just gonna raise wages temporarily and drop taxes to try and keep people as happy as possible. I don't know if it does anything, but we're gonna do that. Now, water services, prefectures, engineering, and governance and religion. Because if I put down temples and there's no one working there, that can be a problem. <laughs> All right, so now we just need people to move in. And I think I just have to kind of place down a lot of houses to make sure we can cross the 200 to 300 barrier, right? And fountain, we're gonna need a fountain there. We're gonna need a fountain there. Uh, I should not have put those houses there. I should actually have these houses on another side. like this side so that we can have the fountain right there okay that makes more sense right right my maze has a hole in it no just there it's okay but it does look like there's a hole why is this not there was a hole in it but why are they not walking through the hole <laughs> i don't know Anyway, this place down here is gonna get started. And we're gonna need temples and stuff. So this should be a long enough route to get enough immigrants on the map, hopefully. We just have to wait for people to move in. There we go. Some people have moved in, fountains are going. And here we can start getting things started. There we go. Fantastic. All right. I do need these areas evolved as much as possible. So I guess I'll just temporarily sort of... Actually, I could get away with using temples for this. So if I just like have temple to series here, I could put a temple to Neptune here. I can put a temple to Mercury. It can go here. Because these two will patrol the outside. We're going to need a temple to Mars, which can go... Here. And a temple to Venus... Can go right there. That's fine. Okay. That will help with some desirability issues, keeping one temple on the inside of each loop. Okay. As population goes up, we gotta start some of our mining and stuff. Uh, we can extend this road a little bit. We'll get two mines down. We'll clear off some of these trees. We'll extend the road. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll have the road come like that. So we can have a workshop, weapons. I need to get this going as soon as possible to make sure we have enough money. And the dock will be going there. Ah, perfect, perfect. Fantastic. Now, before I forget, we should get doctors down as well because I always forget doctors. So let's go ahead and get doctors. Um, yeah, so we can go... Hmm. I guess I'll just go doctor, doctor. That's fine. Okay. And I can just drop a plaza here and there if I need to get any of these houses evolved. More people are moving in. Okay, fantastic. We're at... We're gonna be reaching 200 people here. This maze should be long enough. It should be. Okay. Let's get these going. We're gonna need a granary, which we can place right here, I guess. It's gonna mess up w with some of the walking, though. It should be okay. Should be okay. I did not have an engineer's post on this side, though. So to make sure... Everything is safe. I'll have two because there is going to be an intersection here. 
Okay. And I will have a gatehouse there, which will loop into this area. And it's a bit cramped, but it'll be very functional. Okay. And that means as people move in, how's our employment? We need more people. Okay. Let's just wait for people to move in. <laughs> uh, uh, do I have gatehouses now in peaceful missions? Yes, I do. And we just need to sort of like drop a plaza here and there. Make sure these houses do evolve. There we go. Industry should get started relatively soon. We're at 200 people. Okay, so all of these people, because as soon as we cross 200, people get upset and stop moving into the city. But with this maze, we can get a lot of immigrants on the map. Look at that, people disgruntled, but this should get us above 300. Once we cross 300, then we'll be good. Rioters, why? City short by 48 employees, okay. Just need to wait for them to move in. There we go, there we go. That is the immigration bug that only happens on uh, very hard difficulty. Ah, these houses are moving out, which is very bad. We need to get above 300 as soon as possible. I hope, damn it, that house moved out as well. Okay, we need to get past this glitch to make sure nothing burns down. How is fire? Fire is more frequent on desert maps, so we gotta be very careful. These two houses have moved out, which means we might lose employment if we don't hurry. But we are over 300, look at that. We're over 300. And once we're over 300, we have to wait like a couple months and this people are annoyed with you will go away. But we have unemployment, so we can get things started with food. Uh, we're gonna need, what was it? A shipyard. And then we're gonna need... Uh, it's here as well. Wharfs. Three wharfs. And just while we're at it, I'll get the dock down. And we're gonna need a warehouse here as well. Warehouse there. This is for weapons. Fantastic. Okay. So now we just have to wait for the happiness to go back up. Meanwhile, we can get rid of our well maze now. Once people start moving back in, it'll be okay. And I will fix that for the OCD. <laughs> okay, so we're almost out of money, but we haven't gotten the first gift from Caesar. But all of these houses, yeah, we're gonna maintain above 300 people. You can see people slowly move out. My only concern is down here. If the prefecture or the uh, architect runs out of people, then this will burn down. <laughs> so it's been one month. People are indifferent to you, that's it. We've gotten past the immigration glitch. People will start moving back in. Unemployment of 6%. Come on, start moving back in. There we go. So that we can get these two houses going, hopefully. <laughs> uh, the prefix, yes. What's that? Distant battle, right. Uh, things are already on the way, but we're gonna start producing some food here. We got space for more wharfs. Down this way, yeah, we can have one, two, three, three more wharfs. We could squeeze another one there, but it's a bit weird. But six wharfs should be able to feed these two areas. Hopefully, hopefully. Can I hunt the zebra? Unfortunately, no. Don't I need a well for the houses at the warehouse? I could put a well, but it won't do anything. Because the desirability in this area is so bad, those two houses won't evolve. But there we go, they're moving back in. All right. And with unemployment, we just gotta focus on producing weapons. One shield is just like 15 units a year, so I might want to get a bit more weapons production, especially considering we have to... Uh, produce weapons for our own army. How are the gods? Exalted, delighted, okay. How much is a festival? 60. Okay, that will put me in debt. 
I'm gonna wait as long as possible before getting a gift from Caesar. Fish is starting to come through, fantastic. Gatehouse is 100. Mars sends a spirit to watch over your city, yes! Yes, that's the perfect one. That's not the perfect one. Try to make these new funds last longer. How much do we get? Plenty, plenty. 3,800. It gets less as the missions go along. Um, what was I doing? So we have 31 unemployed workforce. We got a blessing from Mars to protect our city. Do I want a blessing from Neptune? Not yet. I'm not trading any with anyone quite yet. But that money is going to help out. So we can just preemptively get this gatehouse down there. I could put the gatehouse down here. That's as functional as it will get. There's just a little road back there connecting these two. Fantastic. These temples sort of alleviate some of the desirability issues on that corner. Food will come in. Uh, we'll probably need... We can get those wharfs down now. Population has reached 500. Three extra wharves there. And we can get one more iron mine. And another couple weaponsmiths. Uh, workshop weapons. There. Yeah, it has to be there. That's a little off angle, but it has to be there if I want to road here ever for wharves. Actually, no, I don't, do I? Uh, wharf. I will need that gap if I ever want to put down a second dock. Can I not have a dock here? Why can't I put a... Oh, is there a tree in the way? There's a tree in the way. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I'll need that gap if I ever want to put that there. But we'll see how it goes. Employees needed, okay. How many employees? 11. Are more people moving in? Yes, yes, not a problem. Doctors are down. Gods are still delighted. Do I need any blessings? Only, uh... Only Neptune's blessings would be helpful because of... Uh, because we'll need... Trade, trade. Uh, I'll go up to six shipping docks to supplement the fact that the houses you want so much food at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so that's a lot of food coming in. We can go ahead and start feeding the people. And we can start taxing the people, which reminds me... How do I want to spread this out? Taxing the people, which reminds me to up taxes back to 5% and drop wages down to 30. Let's not waste money. We'll tax this area. We won't tax this. Tents don't really give much. So fish seems pretty good. Are weapons starting to come in? Yes, we are now producing weapons. Once we have a supply of weapons, we'll be able to start selling them. And that's when we want a blessing from Neptune. So we'll see if we can actually get a blessing from Neptune. I guess we just hold a festival now, right? 91 denarii. Yeah. We'll throw a festival to Neptune. See if we can get one blessing. How's employment? Unemployment of 7%. So we can just get things going, I guess. We'll need a school. We can give a barber. We could get a theater. We can get an actor's colony. Get all of these evolved. And that will actually be pretty good. <laughs> Up until small casas. Six wolves should be able to feed this one area first. The first feeding is always the hardest because you can see here, they just take like 200 food per house. So it can be pretty hefty. So 1,400 meat should be able to get that evolved. Uh, weapons coming through, weapons are coming through. So we're gonna need to open up a trade route soon. All this extra housing will bring in more people. And once we start selling things, we can set up a military, which is very important. Why not start exporting oil? Uh, you 
kind of do one thing at a time and wondering why. Ask Ching 888 That's because we just don't have enough people. We have 5% unemployment, which is 18 unemployed workforce. One farm takes 10 people. I could start a bit of oil, but I'm gonna have to have like a warehouse and a farm. What's the closest I could get an olive farm here? There? I have to be extra efficient with farms. If I have that farm there and have this road come around like that and move this over, rats have been discovered in the city's drinking water supplies. Your city's uh, citizens' health has suffered as a result. That's not so good. We gotta loop this road around a little bit. Workshop, weapons, go back there. So that gives access to one workshop. We're gonna have a warehouse right here for oil. We can get it started, I wouldn't mind. And we're gonna need one workshop, oh, two workshops for oil like that. Leaving a gap of a road there, which we could put a gatehouse or something, I guess. It'll just waste one tile of farmland. Not the worst, not the worst. But there we go, we can get a bit of oil coming in. Is it the same trade route? No, it's two different trade routes. Okay. So weapons first. These houses have evolved. Let's give them... Not gardens. We'll, we'll stick to medium statues a little bit. Alright, Neptune. Give me a blessing. We'll start some decoration stuff there. Okay, okay, this block is looking good. Some houses are not evolving quite yet. Give them a few plazas, make sure they are small casas. We'll be plazaing up back there as well. There we go, all small casas. Food supply looks stable as well. First feeding done for one block. Plenty of room for people to move in. We're gonna need temples soon as well. I think we can open up the trade route for weapons. Let's do that and start exporting over two units because we will need to start getting a military and I'll wait for some oil to come in before we can start exporting oil but there we go the export area is now set up weapons are coming in nice looks good looks good yep yeah more weapons coming through Fire damage looks good. I think this is a pretty good start. Uh, military, I probably should set up somewhere around here, somewhere between my current residential and my industry. This is all angled land, so we can't build any coastal stuff there anyway, so there won't be any residences coming here. This area is just for these two houses. The next area will probably... I could have like another housing area back here with a few wharves. I could build some island residences. That would be interesting. So yeah, food seems to stabilize. We'll have to import... We can import pottery directly or import clay. We'll see if we could afford what. All right. How's employment looking? 17%, we gotta get more stuff going. I guess we just start putting down all the services we want. A library, an amphitheater. A gladiator school. Yeah. And we're gonna need a barracks over here somewhere. Barracks. Like there? That should be fine. A thousand people. A thousand people. Ah, there we go. We're selling some weapons as well, which means we can now... Didn't I set it to export when it's over two? Uh. Uh, I could start getting some legionnaires, which I will place somewhat closer to my residential area. Yeah, so we have time to respond. Like here. Yeah, we'll put it there. 
So we'll have a working bag. So we got some weapons. We're selling some weapons. Oil is going to start coming in here. And then it is just 15 units a year, right? Yeah, 15 units. And then we'll have at least some military. If I get the money, I'll put down a military academy as well. Gods, temples, uh... Yeah, one small temple is worth, uh, well, worth to cover 750 population. Since we're at a thousand, they're not too happy, but, uh, don't need the temples quite yet. Ah, okay. So we'll start getting legionnaires here, right? Yeah, we're bringing some weapons over. There we go. So actually, I, I can just export all, right? When there are weapons, they'll just come in. Employment, 19%. Jeez, this block does give quite a bit. Uh, how is that school? Is the school covering the whole block? It is. You have to be careful with these school children. They tend to not always reach the end, but on 7x7s, it's okay. What other things do I need on this place here? Forum, school. What was that? What? Oh, 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 that, that is not good. What? What was that? A clinic. This engineer is spawning on the wrong side. <laughs> um, we're gonna need that doctor back. Uh, I guess it goes there. Okay, just to make sure things go a little bit quicker, we'll have two engineers. So the engineer started spawning on the outside road of the gatehouse. Jeez, everything almost collapsed here. Okay, come on, spawn another engineer. Okay, that should cover things. Now we can get rid of that one. Okay, whew. Whew. And it's not something burning. I expected fires, but uh, <laughs> uh, turns out that's not the problem. All right. So oil is starting to come in. We got to wait for more weapons exports, I think. I don't think I can afford the military academy, unfortunately. Not for this first one. We do have a blessing from Mars. Uh, so that's good. 23% unemployment. I have to just drop my population a little bit here. Got to keep it at least below 20%. Um, so yeah, we didn't get that blessing from Neptune, but I don't think we have enough to sell anyway. Okay, as weapons come in, we get to sell a bit more. It should keep us afloat a little bit. Blessing from Mars plus uh, one untrained Legion Fort should be okay. Oil is starting to come in. Some people moved out. Oh, because, of, yeah, the ones we kicked out. That's okay. All right. So all of this turned out quite nice. Um, there's no baths here. I just realized. Baths can go there, I guess. Okay. And that's pretty much all the services this area needs, I think. We have oil, furniture. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. So that's a seven by seven. Build a senate? I probably could, but it's expensive. How much is a senate? 400, it'll put me in debt. And we have to try and avoid the debt anniversary. If I get some oil stockpile, I could open up that trade route and start selling that, which is gonna cost 600. So if I go into debt for that, I gotta be careful. There we go. How are the gods feeling? They'll be getting displeased, yeah. 22%. We just gotta lower our population. I built too many houses. 20%. There we go. Some people still sneakily moving in here. Food supplies looking good. Market is full on food. Okay, we could feed the second area, but we, we don't have the money to expand. And we're using up all of our weapons for training soldiers, so we're not getting much money. 
<laughs> I'm gonna wait till we get enough oil. And... Why did this... Stop functioning? I think I'm gonna put a house there, just in case. Keep things working. Damn it! This thing's... No employees live nearby. That is not good. This loop is too big, I guess? It's, it shouldn't be too big. Oh, we just lost some sails there. But it's okay. If I get enough, like, six units of oil should be able to cover the cost of opening the trade route, at least. Alright. Military is looking pretty full, so at least weapons will start stockpiling. How is that invasion? The distant battle is there, it got closer, so it's got one more step. Two more steps, rather. It, it lost employment because I only put two houses, put three and it w won't be a problem. But it's only this. It's only this one. Everything else is working fine. Nothing else is losing employment. But we got a third house down now as well. And it's on that side, so that should be fine. Weapons are gonna start coming in. Do we not have... That goes there. We need two more soldiers. One's there, and this should be the last soldier coming in. Okay. We've got six units of oil, and we're gonna go into debt anyway, so I'm just sort of delaying the debt so we don't go into debt anniversary. There we go. Final soldier is on his way for this fort. It's untrained, but it's okay. And next month we'll go into debt, and that's when I open up the oil exports. Ah. My governor's thinking money grows on trees. Ah. Uh, it kind of does. It kind of does. Because we're going to sell oil now. Uh, let's open that trade route. And let us start exporting all of it. There we go. So now we can start selling weapons. Well, one unit of weapons, and another boat should show up to buy that, and that's it. Finally. And there's two units of weapons stocked in the barracks. <laughs> as the weapons trickle in, as the weapons trickle in, we get to sell a couple more units. There we go. So now 300 should be covered by seven units of oil. Come on. There we go. Reset the debt anniversary. And get us a bit of money to survive until the next trading comes through. I might be able to support one more weapons workshop, actually. There's a lot of these weapon workshops which have two. Let's do that. There's a lot of weapon workshops which have two iron in them. Four units stored in the barracks, okay. So that should protect us from any incoming invasion. And we just have to kind of speed things along, I think. And just in case, we'll do that. <laughs> okay. Am I gonna export fish? Probably not. I don't think there's enough food to do that. I could actually move the shipyard over and have a bit more food produ production on this side. Don't think I need it, though. Um, if buildings have stable access to housing, they don't send out brown walkers. I see. So... All these brown walkers means they don't have access to stable housing. I see. Oh, enemies at the door. They're gonna be here soon. So I guess just in case I'll put another house there. That'll be four houses total. Selling more weapons. Look at that, so many weapons came through and all the weapons workshops are working, so that's perfect. And we get to sell a bit more oil. Can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Yes, so now that that's done, I can start expanding. I'm gonna have a gatehouse right here, which will expand the road out this way. And I'm gonna need... How do I want to do this? Farm. Olives. Guess like that.
And like that. How's the road look then? So we will have the road extend out like that. And we will have the pre... Yes, it's unemployment. Unemployment is a problem. Okay, don't worry. Um, I'm gonna have prefecture, engineer's post, few houses, four houses, why not? We'll give them a well, but it will never help. Okay. And then we can have workshop oil. So we're getting down two more, so we're gonna need four more of these. What's the next place? A farm can go. There. Okay, so we can have the road come round. Workshop oil. We'll have the road come round. It'll come round like this. Okay, so that should produce enough oil to export and more. And over on this side, we can then put down the military academy which can go right there. And we can then focus on expanding our military. Once we are secure from military aspect, we can focus on growing our city. And that should also... Yeah, that should also take up quite a bit of employment. It is currently 29%, geez. Well, all these farms, workshops, and this military academy should deal with that. I could put down a senate. That's annoying. <laughs> That's... Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that rock. Spoiling my plans. One tile, two close. I could do this. It's not as efficient, but... Not the worst thing in the world. Is more trade coming through? It's January. So a new boat should be coming through soon. All of that's now working, okay. So, yeah, let's just put down the Senate. That'll deal with unemployment. God's unhappy. Okay, we do need to deal with that as well. Uh, do we go into debt for this? Ooh, I say we go into debt for this. Um, I'll leave one gap there. When's the next farm? There? I guess we could extend this road like that, so we could do that. So we can have... Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. That'll be a bit cleaner. Uh, Mars and Venus. Yeah, five more temples. There we go. I'll keep the gods happy. We are in debt, but this boat is gonna buy weapons. Have a fort of legions, got a senate down, 9% unemployment, looking much better. Alright, buy some stuff. Also, oil should be coming in soon as well. Okay. Marcus D. Lol keeps warning me about the gods. Uh, I know, I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting. You warned me earlier, but I put it off because it wasn't an immediate threat. Mercury has spirited away some goods from your granaries. Please let it be granary. Yes, it was granary. Look at that. He took what I already had plenty of. He didn't take the weapons. <laughs> okay. They're irritated, displeased. Siri is, is a little unhappy, but all she can do is ruin our crops, not the worst thing. All the weaponsmiths are still working, looking good, making a bunch of money. I'd like another legion fort if possible, but we've got to make a bit more money. More oil's gonna start coming through here. And I think I could go ahead and put down another fort of legionaries. Yeah, and this one will be academy trained. I'll try get these guys killed first, right? I'll get these guys killed first. Uh, if we get invaded, it will not be from this side because they can't walk through trees in Caesar 3. So that means the invasions are 100% gonna come from up here or down here. 
Oh, I'd love to get some towers down, though, if that's at all possible. Yeah, Ceres cursed my crops, but the gods are happy again, so no problem. <laughs> and yeah, the next farm will be going here. Not sure if we need to boost our oil production at all. How much are we selling? We'll have to check next year. Okay, and we're going to be using up weapons now. More infantry is coming in. Food supply looks good. And now we just have to wait for money, I think. Right? Yeah, I think so. All of this is okay. We are taxing a little bit. Does it say how much... Uh, 1,600 in pay. Yeah, taxes really doesn't really cover it. Ugh. I almost built a fruit farm. I didn't... I didn't... I was just checking the size. I, I didn't... I wasn't planning to do it. I was just making sure I wasn't... It was an efficient spot for a farm. See that? Oh. Isn't your first legion automatically academy trained? No. <laughs> it says right there, no. But these guys? Yes. Quite daring. Very bold. Academy trained boosts their... Oh, wait, no. Quite daring is less than very bold, right? It's hard to... How do you, how do you rate those? Farms the same as raw. One vineyard, two wineries. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, but you can see here I have seven... Seven workshops for three iron mines and they're all working. Uh, see, that one just went out. But the next batch of iron will go here. So for uh, maximum production, you do need to sort of... Uh, uh, have one extra workshop, basically. But you, you just you just sort of eyeball it. It's okay. Distant battle. Another one on the way from down here? Coming from Cyrene? Okay. Look at all that money that's coming. All right. With all that money, we can start doing some other things. I can have a second dock. How do I want to do this? Yeah, I'll have a second dock to get things going a little bit more here. Then we can uh, warehouse. Hmm. If I move the small temple to Neptune here, just temporarily, I can put a warehouse here and I can start importing clay. This warehouse here will accept clay. And we can start a bit of a pottery industry. Ah, oh, hate it when this happens. Uh, this is oil. And this one as well. When you open up new trade routes... This one was weapons. Uh, when you open up new trade routes, it adds those resources to warehouses. And by default, they're accepting, which is a bit annoying. Okay. So now... How's this road... Oh, there we go! There we go! Let's, uh... Let's slow the game down. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Where are they coming from? Here? Okay. You guys are the untrained guys. I'm gonna put you in that formation and just head straight in there. You guys, I'm gonna put you in the same formation but behind. We'll try to get those guys killed first. We do have a blessing from Mars, but if we kill them fast enough, we actually get to keep the blessing. Uh, and also, to speed things up, I'm gonna put a gap there, just in case they ever need to run through there. There we go. It's actually faster to go through this way. These guys don't know which way they're gonna go. It's not a big invasion. Okay. And this is the fastest they move, so... I guess we'll just move these guys up, right? They just need to go kill them. Oh, some zebra are gonna die. Oh, they're gonna get right in the battle here. Yeah. 
Uh, one dead. And Maz killed everyone. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't get to waste some of my soldiers. I'll go back home then. We're over defended. It's crazy. Well, that problem solved. Ah, now with all this money. I wanted to have this road come along here. I'm gonna need to move this prefecture. So I can have a gatehouse here. Get rid of that road there, and we can just put a small statue there for now. We can have a medium statue right there. Yeah, that looks good. A medium statue there, and then we can put down a market right there. That will feed that block. First feeding, it won't be so bad. Uh, we can... what's our employment like? 7%, 6%. We can get the, the usual down. I'll move the prefecture here. So I can do that and have the amphitheater here. We can... Uh, we don't need a forum because the Senate is there. Uh, what else do we need? L school... Library... Let's undo that. We'll try to keep it a little bit symmetrical. School... Library. Uh, Bathhouse. Uh, the spacing of things on this, this side is a bit difficult. Uh, I suppose it'll be more efficient to have the engineer's post there. So we can move that and then we can have the bathhouse here. And that was employees needed. Okay. When these houses evolve, we'll be able to get things properly going. Money seems to be doing well. Okay, okay. And uh, on the back of this... Oof. I think I'll just build the temples here, actually. Small temple to all the gods. So that I can clear these temples off. I know this is a bit wasteful, but I need to do this. Because I need a warehouse here. Set for accepting pottery. And we can start producing and importing pottery as needed. Uh, workshop. Pottery. There we go. How much pot, uh, clay can we import? 15 units a year. Three workshops should be able to handle that. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two rounds, yeah. Okay. So everything's going along quite nicely. This is so much different compared to the previous mission, right? <laughs> Where we really sort of... Uh, uh, did some interesting things, didn't we? There we go. That's looking good. That's looking good. Ah, that looks brilliant, actually. Love it. And since we do have the money, I'll just plaza up these two blocks. Ah, fantastic. First two 7x7s are on the way. Are we short by people? 48. More people moving in. We'll add houses as required. There we go. That's all the services we need, right? Yeah, so there's extra room for houses. I go fountain there. And I go...
If I do that, I could clear these off and put down medium statues, which looks good there, and plaza up this road. There we go. That should get those evolved. Okay. The previous mission was painful <laughs> for OCD people, yeah. If you don't know the previous mission, we played a no-block, no-design mission where I just built roads in a random order and, and filled it up. Don't forget the request for weapons. Yes, thank you for the reminder. 17 months to comply, we just need one more in there. Dockers are collecting some, Dockers are collecting some goods we're buying from a warehouse. Okay, we're just selling a few weapons here. Selling oil. Okay, do I? I think I have to up my oil production a little bit. But I'm kind of out of space. Hold on, I'm just mentally planning how things look right now. How much did you buy? Twelve. Okay. Six weapons. Okay, I'll get that. Uh, that request done later. Okay, the potters are on the way. How do I fit in more, more oil workshops? Is it at all possible? Because if we want to use oil in the future. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. All right, I'll, I'll try to figure that out. Uh, meanwhile, on this side, we will need... Uh, how do I do this? Small temple. Mercury. Engineer's post. Move the actor's colony here. Remove that, put a warehouse right here, and set this to getting pottery. And we can start evolving these houses even further. Okay, we will need at least one more housing area, which we might be able to get away with, with feeding it with fruits over here, actually. Ah. Left bottom barracks, remove the trees, make this road longer. Yeah, I could have like another sort of extension. Let's fulfill this request. It'll waste four units of weapons, but that's not the worst thing. Enemies are closing, okay. How are the gods feeling? Pleased, okay. Fort Javelin? No, I shouldn't build another fort quite yet. Should I? Nah, it's okay. We, we should be fine. So there should be a cart pusher coming over this side to grab... Why is he not going to... Oh, is it because there's not enough? Alright. I could have the road come out this way, right? That will actually work. Let's waste this a bit. Have this road do this instead. One more. This can work. And then we can have workshop oil. If I extend it one more, it'll actually be even better. Workshop. Oil. What is that? It's the well? Yeah. We don't need a well. <laughs> Workshop. Uh, oil. Which allows us to put down one more olive farm here, and we can put down another prefecture here, just to try and make sure things don't burn down, because that one's getting a little close. Okay. 
And that gives us plenty more space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll need another one. Workshop. Oil. Eight. Eight oil workshops for four oil farms, leaving all of this for fruit, which we could use to feed another housing area. Probably over here. This will actually be a good spot for it if I get rid of all of this. Right? It could be a nice block here. There's a little bit of water there. Okay. Now, how's our employment? Okay. So we could fill that up. Okay, okay. There was a question from Full Moon Dog earlier. Here's a copy. Your videos are really useful, Zach. I just wondered which impressions game is your favorite, which one do you consider the best, and why? Okay. Favorite and best are two different questions. My favorite is Caesar 3. Because I just I just like it. I just like it. It's the most nostalgic and all of that. Uh, the best is Emperor, because it is the most developed. It's the most developed. Uh, no doubt about it. I'm gonna need to move this later on anyway, so let's do that. Gladiator school. Have a warehouse here set to getting furniture. There we go. Is this guy... he is getting pottery. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sajuk, you can approve that message from coxification. Uh, so yeah, pottery is coming on over. I'm not sure if we, if we start stockpiling clay, I'll put down one more pottery workshop. We'll see how that goes. Oil should start producing pretty quickly now. I guess we just start scattering a house here and there as we go along. Uh, damage, fire, looks good. So over on this side... Oh, we are a bit low on money. We gotta wait for money to come in. I don't know if any of the trades will expand as we go along. It'd be nice to have a challenge to build houses only along the default road to Rome. Hmm. I could try that. On a map that has a long road. <laughs> I'll try that. That sounds interesting. We could probably pull that off. So wait, are all the services here? Library, school, theater, amphitheater, bathhouse. Uh, pottery is coming in. Would you look at that? Fantastic. Now, I could just have a straight up timber furniture industry here if I made this work a little bit better. If I... I'm gonna have to clear this off very quickly. Clear that off. Clear off that tree there. Have the aqueduct come around this side instead. Do that. And clear off that, so we can have a gatehouse right there, and we can have a road to this. And we will need Couple houses, prefecture, engineer's post. That prefect should spawn on the right side, hopefully. I suppose to be absolutely safe, I'll move it here. And you guys say three houses, so I'm gonna put three houses there. Okay, so we're gonna set up this new area so we can just produce furniture. We don't need a warehouse because it's just there, so we can go ahead and put... Which means this should actually be set to... Just accepting furniture. We don't need to get furniture. So raw materials, timber yard. Two will do. Workshop, furniture. All right, there we go. Furniture is gonna come in. That'll take up some more of our employment. Evolve these houses even further. Pottery has come in. Uh, not enough, though. 
you had enough pottery to supply some houses, but not all. Okay, so I suppose you're off getting more pottery. Yeah, looks like we do need more potter workshops here. Let's get another one down there, another one down there. Two more. That should use up the clay a bit faster. Okay, and these two blocks of houses will get us cleanly past 2,000, maybe 2,500 people. Should be good. How much is it for a wall plus tower? As Dim Jardo. Towers are 150, walls are 12 a tile. Towers have to go on a, f a two by two wall bit. There we go, 2,000 people. <laughs> Marcus D. Lal says, challenge, use only lions, gladiators, and prefectures, plus sheep and zebra to fight invasions. Well, we got plenty of time for that. Um, I'm not sure if it's even possible. Can you... We need more food? We do need more food. Oof. We're actually running out of food here. Can I put down... the shipyard? Here. I can. And I can convert that to another wharf. We are actually running out of food. As these houses evolve and expand. We'll see if it stabilizes. If not, we'll have to destroy some houses. <laughs> it's just what we have to do. Okay, so they're all at small insulae. More money has come in, so I guess I'll just have another... I'm gonna need a fort of javelins, because they just run quicker. I don't think I need horsemen on this map, because the map's not that big. Another invasion should be on the way, right? It takes a long time for invasions to reach us. Well, furniture's gonna start coming in. These places will start using up furniture. Food is struggling, huh? I mean, the best we could do is probably have one more wharf down here. That's a little tricky. Hopefully one extra wharf will be able to compensate for this. Has the boat arrived yet? It, it has, okay. So we've got seven wharfs here. I'm not sure if the market's 400 food. We'll just keep an eye on the food situation. <laughs> uh... Did I see... go on to the islands? I might be able to. If we have a lot of money, I could totally build a... Low bridges can't reach this far, right? Yeah. We could build a ship bridge and just cross over. I don't know if a low... no, no, it'll have to be a ship bridge. For the fishing sake. I could cross over here. How interesting. It might, it might work. What are we killing? Zebras? Where? Oh, the soldiers going to the forts are killing the zebra. <laughs> Gotta be careful of that. Alright, more pottery is coming in. Enough pottery to supply this in area. Seems to be good. Furniture starting to come in. Soldiers are at the door. Enemies at the door. I think I'm gonna have to... Yeah, supply of pottery ran out. That's a bit of a pain. Alright, I'm gonna need more food. I have to do this, uh, ship bridge. Right there. Gate house will not fit there. I'm gonna have to move these temples. Neptune series. Neptune goes... Eh, that's fine. So I can...
I need the road to do that. So that I can fit a gatehouse right here, like that, which sends access over here, which allows me to start fishing. Like that. Uh, so I can clear this off. And we'll just do that. Okay. That should solve the food problem here at least a little bit. Right? Right. Okay. How did we lose all our money? Oh, the bridge just... The bridge took up all our money. <laughs> if you see here, ship bridge, um, it's actually a hundred a tile, so this took up like a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Thousand four hundred went along, uh, went into this bridge. Okay, but once people move in there, that should solve our food problems. Money's coming back in, we got plenty of weapons, plenty of oil. These houses need a supply of oil, okay. Could I make this work any better? That one's already struggling to keep the pottery going. Yeah, okay. Keeping the food supply going is a little tricky. We need this area. We need this going. Okay. Ah. Let's make sure nothing ever burns down here. Nothing ever collapses here, because they will be crossing this bridge and waste the walker time a bit. Alright, people finally moving in here. That should solve our food problem. 500 food, pottery, furniture. Looks good there. You're going to get food, I assume. Uh, if I check commerce, food stocks. You are walking around here. Rats. Money. Okay. These houses have run out of food, that's not good, but this area here should be good. We have 15% unemployment, so there is a bit of a buffer. These houses are now evolving all into, uh, what are these, medium insulates? And we could get it to large insulates if I get some oil over here. And to get oil over here, I'm gonna have to maybe move the... actor column to here so I can move this and have a warehouse here set to getting oil to bring oil over from our oil producing area and it seems like these fishing wharves are gonna start coming online and everything will be a-okay we'll give them a well anyway just in case Okay, it's January, new year for trade, javelineers are in. I wish there was a way to send troops back to be academy trained. I, there is no way to do that, right? Maybe have a second granary on the island with the main one on land getting? Oh, that is a good idea. Ah, let's uh, just move this engineer's post. Over there so I can clear this off so I can have a granary here set to accepting fish and this one set to getting that's a good idea so these guys so these guys will put food in here and this one will just grab it and bring it on over it's a bit more efficient and doesn't waste time and to be safe I'm gonna put two houses there make sure things stay employed okay 
What is favor is 31, okay. Prosperity is 27, it's rising, culture, peace, okay. Are we not selling more stuff? Yeah, buy more stuff. There we go, money is starting to come in. Oil, pottery supply looks good. You're still coming on round here. Is there something blocking? What is that? That's a house? That house is actually making this trip much longer than it needs to be. I'll put another house here. Okay, because they're now, see, you see them walking around like that, which it'll be quick if they can, yeah, there we go. They can just go back through that way. Clay is being used up, so I guess we could get rid of that. Four is probably the, the most we need, okay. That javelin fort is down, furniture is stockpiling. Do we have, how much time do we have for this? 12 months, six in the warehouse, okay. These houses are devolving because that's a food issue. Distant battle, another one. Look at that. This one here hasn't reached us and there's another distant battle coming from Cyrene. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. Ah. Yeah, Marcus D. Lal says there's no way to train existing troops at an academy. There we go, food is starting to go back up. If you see food going up, it basically means it will stabilize. Look at that, so much food is here, 1,400 meat. This one just needs to grab it from over there, brings it on over. The gods are unhappy. Huh. I did not realize that that might have been a problem. More temples then. Don't suppose anyone's selling marble. There is someone selling marble. Let's import some marble. Who, who sells the marble? We can import wine as well. Huh, interesting. Okay, so the oil people... Oh, we gotta throw a festival for Ceres, I think. Just a small one, so you're not too unhappy. For now, we will put down temples though. Okay, there we go. There we go, food supply has stabilized. Very good. These houses still struggling to get along a little bit. Yes, I know, I know. Um, people are upset with me, which uh, it's not really stopping immigration though. Unemployment is at 14%. This house is evolving because... Oh no, it's evolving, okay. So now needs a supply of oil. Oil is here. Series destroys my crops, that's fine. We survive on fish here. Oil, furniture. How many, ah, oh, jeez, come on. How much time do we have for this? We gotta stockpile furniture for a while. Or we just need to produce more of it. This off. Workshop furniture. Ah! Uh, I have not seen this animation for so long. I never throw a small festival. <laughs> oh wow. I forgot that animation existed. The small festival animation. Wow. Forgot that was even a thing. Right, we need we'll need to convert those where? Where is there a fire? Really? Okay. Damage isn't a problem. Both engineers went that way? Okay, there. That should solve that problem. 
I need to move these two temples. Ceres and Neptune. They're always in the way. <laughs> um, I guess temporarily I'll just put them in the block. Ceres, Neptune. So that I can have more furniture workshops. There. That will bring in enough furniture. We just need one more to fulfill that request, which I think... Was that one coming in? No. Just gotta wait for one more piece of furniture and look at that, we're getting large insulae that has run out of furniture. <laughs> this market... The markets are struggling to keep up with all the resources. I think it's because some of the houses are going back through a first feeding thing. Alright, that's fine. We still have time to fulfill this request. Seven months, seven months, that's fine. Alright, once that has stabilized and more money has come through, we'll be able to set up a housing area over here. This... I'm not sure if it's gonna be okay. Yeah, that is a bit of a problem. Oh, but we're under attack! Okay, from where? There. So because they're not trained, they don't actually have square formation. Go kill them. Okay. Let's try and waste some of our soldiers here. You are going to go kill them at your earliest convenience, and hopefully some of you die so that we can go ahead and replace you with trained soldiers. There we go. And meanwhile, you're just gonna make sure they don't come through like this. There we go. We don't want the trained ones to die. Let's try just throw all of these guys at the problem. Ah, we do actually have the furniture. Let's dispatch that. I don't think we need these guys. You guys can go home. Why are we so in debt? It's the marble imports. We don't need that much marble. Please stop selling us marble. Please start buying our stuff. <laughs> we bought way too much marble. Those are for oracles, by the way. Uh, in case you're wondering why I imported marble. Meanwhile, I think I need to move this theater over there so I can have a second market here because this area is just struggling. Ah, oh. This market is doing okay, but... Start buying our stuff. Another successful voyage. The Is there nothing left to sell? Makes the sea sickness bearable. Jeez. We way over imported marble. <laughs> uh, we need a second market over on this side as well. I'd like to put it here though. Just have the second market there. And I'll be fine. Okay. Ah. So these are all large insulates. Looking good, looking good. This area here is just... Uh, good thing we have unemployment. That's fine. Furniture, pottery, and oil are all still here. Another market will help that out. Mainly we, we need the food coming in in a bit more stable way. There's enough food, it's just not distributing fast enough. Are you... Are you gonna buy things? Stop... Ah, I hate how they sell first, then buy. What's our favor? 34? Okay, so Caesar's not gonna come attack us anytime soon, that's fine. So we get about 2,500 from these two blocks. I think we'll get 3,000 people total. So... The block over here hopefully will bring us another... We need how many people? 5,000? 
So if these two gets us to 3,000... Jeez, why is it so difficult to stabilize? I know why, I know why. It's just... annoying. 600... Okay, this market has all the resources, this market has food, so this housing area should stabilize. This has oil and pottery, this has food, so that should stabilize. You can see the first feeding taking a toll here, but don't worry, this getting... cart is gonna... Why is there... Oh, this mark... All right, getting stuff here. There we go. It replenishes very quickly. Okay. I think that'll eventually sort itself out, now that there's two markets in each area. Money is looking a bit better. Okay, okay. Uh, give your money to the city, George 2001K. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I should actually drop my salary. I don't need that much. The only time I'll use personal savings is to give gifts to Caesar if I need a boost in favor. That's all. Yeah, it's starting to stabilize. It's fine. Food is just being dumped into there. It should be fine, yeah. That's another... You can see the, the getting cart carries more food. Pottery's coming in. We're back in the black. Didn't hit... We didn't hit a debt anniversary, so that's good. Buy more weapons. I think we have enough military for this mission, so now we just have to focus on our goals. So it's basically getting our population up to 5,000. And I think I will need... How do I want to do it? This road here. That can be a bit of a dump. Should be one shorter, like that. How big is this block? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a 10 by 10 block, okay. Let's... Just have that. Not there, there. This will be an academy culture temple dump, as required. Money's come back in, fantastic. So I want to build a housing block right here fed on fruits. That would be nice. Okay, that's looking good, all this is looking good. As we uh, need temples, I can just build oracles now. Three temples each, okay. Okay. Ah. Don't you think it's going to be pretty hard to defeat Caesar? I'm not going to fight Caesar. Caesar's troops are powerful. And there's no barber here? I did not realize. I have a barber. No problem. Uh, small statues can go... Actually, no. That's the perfect spot for the first oracle. There we go. Keep the gods happy. As we prepare to boost our population, which will go over here. One, two, three. We can have this road extend out like that. And we'll have another seven by seven, I guess. One, two, three. Ish. Don't worry about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Delete that. We don't need that. Clear off this road here. That block's there. You can have a well if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll clear off all these trees. And this block should get us to our desired population. How are these markets looking? Have they stabilized? I think they have. 
which means now we can just squeeze in houses as we desire. There's really not much space, but we can have a house there, we can have a house there, we can have a house there, and there, and there. I'd love to have a house there, but that makes things a bit complicated. I move this Neptune temple there. I can have a fountain right there for a house that's right there. Okay. Don't want to bother with that. Ah, these imports. I'm just, it's because I'm spending all of, all of my money. <laughs> so there will be a fountain right there with an aqueduct. Can it be there? A reservoir rather? No, it needs to be a bit closer. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I might as well have it here. Just setting this up now. Okay, that can go there. Aqueduct's gonna hook this up. That's a little annoying, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, and now I can just get a row of houses in here and get everything we need. Prefectures. Engineer's post, the uh, second prefecture, doctor. We'll have a oracle here for a gatehouse next to it here, allowing us to have houses there with a fountain. There. This can be a row of houses. Like that. This road will go up like that into a loop, giving access to a granary. Which comes back round. Actually, no, it doesn't have to come back around. It'll come out here. Okay. Prefecture. Engineer's post. Another prefecture. We'll get two. Okay. This is just me thinking aloud as I build things, right? <laughs> Don't mind me. Uh, this center is gonna garden up like that. And then we can start getting fruit farms. We need to clear off some of these trees. Farms, fruit. Oh, the farmland carries over quite far. Farm, fruit. Just temporarily, I will loop back around like this. There we go. Okay. So I think that's not too big of a loop for this. It should be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. And we can just continue having more fruit farms. I know it's not the most efficient placement. 
but I just want to get it working for now. Okay, then we can plaza up this road, get those houses evolved a little bit. That oracle will help. We'll wait for the fruit to come in. Meanwhile, we can start... I'm gonna have to have a gatehouse here, I think. So I can break that. Another oracle there. And we're gonna have a gatehouse here. Okay. So we can put Actor Colony Gladiator School over on this side. Don't, don't buy. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> ah. It's working. It's working. I like it. I like it. Ah. Okay. Now. This area over here seems to be pretty much as developed as we can get it, right? few desirability things could help evolve here. Okay. So that's the biggest they can be, right? If I actually move this market over... I could have a 2x2 two two house right there. But I kind of don't want to mess up the market. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. City sentiment? Really? Why? Is it still unemployment? Act to colony. Uh, gladiator school. Okay. We kind of just need more exports here. Waiting on that. Market can go right... There. Second market can go here. Buy more weapons, please. Uh, Markets 40. Okay, yeah. So two markets down. That will get that fed and prepared. There is no road connection to here. Do I need a road connection to here? No, it would be pretty bad for me to do something like that. Because the market lady would have to walk all the way down here to get oil. <laughs> ah, Caesar will not let up. Money is so hard to come by in this mission. Because we just can't export all that much. We could try exporting fish, but that's kind of difficult. Because we would ne need to set up a fish industry over here, connected to these docks. Series. So we can clear that off. Meaning I could fit one more house there, but I'll need to get a fountain over there. There's two temples here. Neptune. That will make it worth it. You know what? I could show a little trick here. Do I want to show a little trick? I could show a little trick here to maximize the amount of population we could have on this block. With a little area like that, if I just go ahead and get rid of those, do that, put down a small statue here and here. 3,000 people, yes. Just 2,000 more to go. <laughs> ah, there we go, money is in, money is in, yes. Now watch me do this trick here. Um, we're gonna need a Fountain. This is gonna become a 2x2 two two there. We're gonna need a fountain there. So we could have the medium statues like that and like that. So we can have second decorative fountain there. We'll go for the small statues here and here, going along like that. 
and a row of gardens. Okay, so these houses will expand to the back once we get a reservoir over to this side, which I think we could... Is there a way to snake through this? There is. Okay, so we can do that and we'll just make sure there are gaps if anything is required. There we go. Now these houses will evolve to the back as two by twos. Then we could have another set of houses on the front, boosting the population even further. Squeezing in as many houses as possible. What does this need? Oh, we're under attack. We're under attack. Okay. Where? Down here. Okay. Is this academy trained yet? They're academy trained. Would you look at that? Okay. These zebra might die, but it's okay. Let's deal with this invasion. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting, just populate that up for me, will you? Okay, there we go. Should have enough time to get the troops in place. Put the javelins there. A few zebra get caught in the crossfire. Move these guys up. Javelin guys, can you stop shooting the zebra and shoot the enemy? That would be nice. <laughs> no, no, stop killing the zebra. Stop, stop killing the zebra. Jeez. The zebra did nothing wrong. Anyway, we could have like a couple two by twos back there while we're at it. <laughs> Let's just get back to business. One, two. Uh huh. Uh, medium statue, medium statue. That looks good. Small statues. Couple gardens. Mixing up the decorative stuff is quite good. Wait, those statues can't go there. The houses will expand to back there. That needs to go there. That's a little annoying, but it's okay. That looks less pretty, but it'll work. Okay, so you can get these two by two houses behind a line of one thing, so you can have... So it's basically making super efficient use of everything. Uh, money's a little short. What do these need? Entertainment? Uh, theater. School. Got to make sure we don't block the road to Rome. Uh, amphitheater. There's a doctor baths. Okay, we can't build anything there. We could have gardens like that. And a small statue there. And then we could put the barber right here. Fantastic. Now we need a few warehouses. This one will be getting pottery. This one will be getting accepting furniture. And this one will be getting oil. So we have all the resources we need, just a step away here. Food is overflowing, so that's fine. Ah, okay. So this will get us well over 4,000 people. 
What's our prosperity requirements? 33 to 35, okay. Culture, okay. I'll get all the resources we need from here, okay. We need to produce a little bit of furniture. Raw materials, timber yard. I guess I will use here. Let's have a couple of houses. Prefecture. Engineer's post. Raw materials, timber yard. Don't worry about that. Workshop. Furniture. There we go. So we're producing furniture, grabbing the pottery, grabbing the oil. Supplying this area. Look at that. Pottery's already coming in. Fantastic. We could do with a forum for more taxes. Unemployment is 20%. I'm being too efficient. I'm being too efficient. Furniture has overflowed here. Okay. Look at that. Those two houses have evolved into two by twos. So now we could delete these statues and have another row of one by one houses on the front. So we have a, a three deep uh, sort of thing there. All these houses have fully moved in. Okay, so these extra room. All right, so we should be pretty much at... I need more money to plaza this up. Yeah. So these need to evolve as well. Supply of furniture. Money's come in, we can plaza this block, there we go. Plaza there. Okay. Ah, managed to squeeze in a fruit eating area for this. Got all this working here, very nice, okay. Money's still short. We're short on money like through the whole mission actually. Ah, oh, it's so difficult. So tricky to get things going. Don't suppose I could squeeze in any more houses. Just one over there, but it's not really worth dealing with that. Oh, this... no, no, no. Ah, okay. This temple to Ceres, let's just dump this over here. Let's move this over there. We could have a house right there. We're gonna need a fountain first. Unless that's already touched, no. Just squeeze a reservoir there. Fountain can go right here. So we can put a medium statue right there. And we can just plaza up this road there. There we go. Squeezing in another 2x2 two two there. You can see it's right behind that prefecture. So we can have one... Well, it's within two tiles of a road. And it's within this tile of a road. So the market lady on this side will feed that house. Okay. Just trying to squeeze in as many people as possible. This side... Uh, do we have... We don't have a library here. We need a library. These houses still waiting on the furniture. Oh, some furniture has come in. There we go. And then they need yeah, access to a library and then oil, I think. Medium statues. I like medium statues. Medium statues look nice. There we go. There we go. How much room plenty of room for lots of people in this block here i think we'll get very close to 5000 people from this block each block is 1.5k people pretty much but we're being super efficient you can see here we've got this two by two on the back of this row of services there we go next room for 65 65 26 56 there's room for a lot of people here. Let's dispatch that furniture. Rome increased the price of weapons, which means we're gonna start making more money. Ah, oh, finally, finally, we're gonna have the budget to, to finish this map. 
Okay, so now I think we just need to get things running. Oh, this these houses are actually evolving. Access to local religious facilities, huh? If I move a temple... What temple can I move on over here? Furniture, okay. Wait, what's the setup here? Ah, I see. Neptune, Venus. Another house can go right there. We'll put an oracle right here to deal with the desirability. Uh, Venus can go here. So we can actually evolve this, these houses here because the market ladies are using Destination Walker to come on over this side. So it's actually possible. The trade potential of this route is now willing to trade even more. So we're trading more weapons for more money. Each weapon, 25 a year. Ah, oh, finally. Finally, we, 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 we're at that point. We're at that point. <laughs> okay, so... If I wanted to evolve this house as well, I'm gonna need a bit more space. I don't think I could make it work because of desirability. But we'll see what happens. No basic educational facilities. I just move this over a little bit. Do this. Do that. Temple. Venus. Right there. School. Library. I know it's weird providing all of these services just for two houses, but these services take, what, 10 employees, 22? And one of these houses is holding 60-something people? It's worth it. We're at 4,000 people. So that's pretty good. We can fit another house there. Can I just move a service over? I got rid of a temple to Neptune, right? Neptune. We'll move this temple to Ceres there, so we can actually have another house. Desirability will be an issue. You know what? Let's just go for it. I don't think I can squeeze in any more houses, so let's go... Small statue. That's the best we can do there. Okay. We'll see if we can get that... Oh wait, no, we definitely can't. We can't do that. We'll just put a normal 2x2 two two there, and we're gonna give it a fountain. Squeeze in one more house there. Look at that. Okay, 4,100 people. Unemployment is gonna be a killer. We do have money though, so let's go ahead and start dropping down all these things. Three academies, we're gonna need a bunch of schools, I guess. We're gonna need some libraries. We could go ahead and get some couple of theaters. Maybe an amphitheater as well. Get our culture rating up. Culture is 55. Let me just check. Let's just let that run. Uh, Theatre is above average. Amphitheatre is good. Let's get education first. Schools. We need more schools. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Culture is where it needs to be. Prosperity, peace, favor, all... F oh, it's... We're doing well, actually. Now we just need the population. This house does not have access to a local bathhouse. Ah, we can't provide that. At least that house is evolved, though. Okay. Now it's all about raising our population by a bit more. Have all of these houses filled out? Not quite. A few more people moving in as we go along. This house here did manage to get to large insulae size. So let's just... There's no water there. Let's go ahead and give it a fountain, shall we? Uh, small statue. So now we just go around squeezing in houses wherever we can. 
Gonna be attacked again. There's only one temple here, right? That house there could expand if I get rid of that and make sure it maintains the correct desirability. Clear that up so we can just... So it's going to become a 2 by 2 like that. So this is going to go from allowing 20 occupants to allowing an extra 64. Look at that. All these little tweaks, all these little tweaks. I just changed 24 to 84 in terms of capacity for housing. <laughs> just by doing that. See that? See what I did? I expanded a house out two by two. What is this? A clinic? Okay. So this house here... Ah, uh, desirability. I don't know if I can boost desirability anymore here. Maybe a couple small statues there might help. Ooh, it worked! An extra 84 people. We'll plaza that just in case. There we go. So that's working out very nicely. Got enough there, that looks good. Any more houses to squeeze? Because we're very close to our target now. What's our prosperity requirement? We're at 41 and it's rising. Yeah, so I can't fit any more houses here, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, did we kill unemployment? We did. Culture's gonna be fine. I'll just put down an oracle here, make sure the gods maintain happiness. Yep, the gods are still happy. Okay. So, we just need to raise our population by a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just save and wait for more people to move in. To deal with the unemployment. I'll leave a gap there. Money, look at how money skyrocket. Ever since the price of weapons went up and the amount of weapons we could sell went up. It's fantastic. Look at that. Brilliant. Ah. Uh, I wish I could make some of these... You know what? If I just rearrange this... Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm gonna delete this market. That can become a 2x2. Two two. That's a small statue there. This is... If I delete this oracle... What is that? The barbershop? So if I ha move the barbershop over there and the engineer's post over there and delete these two things here and then I can go for medium statue there, not medium statue there. I'll just outline this a little bit. That's gonna expand like that. A oh, medium statue can go here and I replace the market like that and I move the medium statue that was there to here. Like that. And... I could actually have like a prefecture and engineer's post back here. Making room for an oracle here. Like that, to boost the desirability there. And just for fun, and because we're rich, we'll plaza that. These two have access to this house here. Would you look at that? And this... Now needs... There we go!
<laughs> look at that, look at that. Uh, Scrot Need 55 e says, Love your stream and videos, played all these games as a kid. <sighs> Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying it. Ah, look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant, isn't it? I had to delete the market, but it brings in an extra 150 people, which is kind of what we need. You could actually do that all the way around, if you so desired. Is there any way we could just get some... ...basically evolved houses? I don't know... You know what? If I do something like this... And I just, like, have a reservoir here. This will look quite natural, but it's not in any way efficient or anything like that. This is not something that's... Well, it's sort of efficient in the sense that... Uh, that will work, yes. Then I'll get rid of these two houses, and I'll just put an oracle down here for desirability. Then we can put a market. Those just trees? Not quite. We'll need to delete that. Put a market right there. We can plaza up this whole road. Doctor. Barber. We can get rid of one farm to provide some services. We could probably get rid of two farms. There's actually a lot of stuff here. Amphitheater. Theater. School. A temple to Neptune. And we can actually evolve some of these houses. Ah, but that should get us an extra 400 people, no problem. And it won't be completely unevolved, right? Pottery is a little low, so since we can import pottery, let's import pottery. Because we're now supporting 5,000 people with import of not very much clay, which is terrible. No access to local religious facilities, which we should be coming along soon. Yeah, we just have to figure that out. Can you make it? Yes, you can. Yes, yes, fantastic. And food should hold up. Ooh. And this will be the last invasion and then we'll be winning this map. Where is it? There? Okay. Deal with this, because invading armies stop immigration, which is annoying. Perfect. Immigration resumes, and... If everything is according to plan, I just have to speed up the game and we'll win. Look at this housing area. What do you need? No access to a bathhouse. 
Oh, food has sort of run out here. <laughs> Perhaps I, I need that farm, don't I? That first feeding of all these houses was took a bit of a toll. Can we maintain food? We just need a few extra people moving in. Come on guys, move in! <laughs> I'm doing that just to speed things along. Prosperity is fine. All the ratings are fine. We just need... A tad more. There we go, finally. This mission took us two hours, but we did it. The main problem was uh, waiting for trade for the weapons to go up and the price of weapons to go up. After that, money was fine. We were... <laughs> that ghetto? Yeah. M0SC110, that ghetto. I mean, if I waited a bit longer, people would have moved in. I was just getting a bit impatient. Anyway, uh, victory. Caesar has promoted you to the rank of Procurator. Let's accept promotion. As I expected, the example of Miletus has already inspired other eastern cities to negotiate terms for joining our empire. And your experience with fishing has been a lesson to all my governors. Teach a man to fish, as they say. Anyway, that is the end of Miletus. We finally made it. Took us two hours. Some of the future missions will probably take a little bit longer than that, but... This was okay. It was okay. Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, you can just go ahead and click on the annotations right now on the screen. You can see here we have two missions. We have Lugdunum. That is an infamous mission. And over here, Carthago, an equally infamous mission. But be sure to come back and watch the, its counterpart, both peaceful and military for each of the assignments. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. My name's Dean Gamerzak, this is Caesar 3, and I'll see you in the next video.